Hi, I'm Nigel from The Art of Sound, and this is the first in a series of new videos called Talking Rackheads, A Quick Word. Now, in these videos, which I'll release every so often, I will be taking a look at one or more plugins or patches that I've featured in a previous episode of Talking Rackheads and give a quick description and a quick playthrough of how the patches and the plugins work. It's basically just a sort of quick idea, um, an idea, a thought, a patch, or something interesting that I've discovered whilst testing or trying out plugins for Talking Rackheads. In this instance, what we're going to take a look at are some plugins from AS. The first plugin is the Rebeat, which is this multi sort of clock divider adder uh, that is very similar to the hardware Eurorack device called Trigger Riot. This case, what I've done here is connected the outputs on the right hand side for each of these channels to a bass drum, a snare, and a hi-hat. So in the first instance, this channel here, which is set to a clock divider of four, will play one bass drum every beat. In other words, at 120 BPM. And it will sound something like this. Yeah, just a straightforward bass drum part, playing four to the beat. Now, what I'm going to show you now is how you can use Rebeat to add little extra drum beats, bass drum beats, to liven up that part. And what I've done here is I've set up another clock divider, which will play every fifth beat. And this one's every seventh, and this one's every nineteenth just to add some random feel to the drum part, so it'll sound something like this. Yeah, and that gives some very quick and simple rhythmic feel to the kick drum part. Now, the next part I'm going to look at is the hi-hat. And the hi-hat is coming from this channel here. You see this channel here? It's coming from there, going into the refluke. Now, what's the refluke? Well, the refluke is a sort of noise producer and sample and hold generator. And I'm taking the output of the sample and hold and feeding it in to an ABY switch. And when I press this switch, it's going to take the signal from the refluke that's being triggered by this channel here, as well as this channel is triggering the hi-hat itself, and will give a more random feel to the tone of the hi-hat because the output from refluke, the sample and hold, is going to the CV input, which is affecting the morph parameter of the hi-hat. Let me show you what I mean. Here is the basic hi-hat with that bass drum part. And this is the channel that's playing that part. Now I'm going to turn on the refluke, so it will change the tone of the hi-hat at random. Oh, just gives it a nice tonal change, makes it feel like it's being a bit more naturally played. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this output 
from the rebeat again another four different clocks that are summed up and i'm going to feed that into the regate now what does the regate do well the regate is this plugin that changes the length of any given gate so instead of being a normal length gate you can shorten it or lengthen it giving some very interesting rhythmic effects especially when you apply the output to say for example the cv input of a vca so what i'm going to do is start the drum pattern again with the bass drum and hi-hat and then i'm going to reduce the length of the gate to about the nine o'clock position and you'll hear as i mentioned in my previous episode of tr when i looked at this there are sweet spots with re gate that give you some very interesting effects here we go So now I'm going to reduce the gate. And there we go. Really sort of interesting little hi-hat patterns coming out. Now I'm going to finally unmute the snare part and this will give you the entire rhythmic pattern all together. And the snare is being played by this channel here, coming out of Rebeat. go simple way to creating very sort of interesting and ever-changing patterns using rebeat refluke an ab switch and regate hope you enjoyed it see you next time